In order to begin, you will need the following tools for proper installation. An MDT-1 tool, a PAC-7 comb assembly, APF curling bit, APF template, APF bell punch, PRL-4 plastic rivet lube, and a drill, electric or air powered. Before installing any splice, the belt must be cut straight and square to the center line of the belt. Place the template over the belt end, aligning the center lines, making sure the belt end is tight against the template belt stops. Slide second belt under the template against the belt stops. Align the center lines, nail or clamp the template in place. Drive the nail halfway into the belt and bend the nail over. Using a 3 8 inch drill and the proper APF punch, spray the alligator plastic rivet lube into the holes of the template and drill the holes through the belt. Be sure not to drill the holes up to the edge of the belt. Leave one quarter inch of the belt at each edge open for notching. Insert the fastener by opening each plate. Insert the rivets so that the smooth side of the fastener is on the top side of the belt. Squeezing each plate to make certain the fastener is fully inserted. The APF curling bit is available in two sizes. Be sure to use the correct size for the appropriate fastener. After installing the correct size APF curling bit, insert the proper side of the comb assembly into the MDT-1 tool. Slide the comb assembly to one side and remove the gauge pin. Insert the fastener side of the belt into the comb assembly. Replace the gauge pin and tighten down the clamp screws. Spray a light covering of alligator plastic lube on the rivet ends. Turn on the tool and line up the end rivet with the curling bit. Apply light pressure to the rivet until the rivet is formed into a tight, low-profile curl. Continue this process for the entire belt width. After curling the last rivet, slide the comb assembly out. Remove the gauge pin, loosen the clamp screws, and remove the belt. Repeat these steps for the second belt end. For belts wider than the comb assembly, repeat the preceding steps across the width of the belt. Mesh the two belt ends together and insert the hinge pin. Be certain to notch the trailing end of the belt.